We've all seen the videos out there of weird TikToks, weird Instagram, weird YouTube hacks that influencers use with their house plants. However, not all of them make any sense or do anything at all. Sometimes it's probably just influencers being influencers, but there are some weird things you can do that are backed by science and make sense. So here's my four weird house plant hacks I use that actually drastically change the result of my plant. So when it comes to house plants, I really do focus on the soil a lot. The reason for that is because I'm a firm believer that everything happens in the soil. Now I may be biased. I am biased. So these are all changes that you can make to the potting soil or ways to alter your potting soil to really maximize nutrient uptake, which ultimately maximizes your growth or flowering power or whatever the case is. Number one is a weird one, I think, and that is vermiculate. I put that on everything is what I do. And vermiculite is really good at making sure fungi and hyphae doesn't take off on the soil surface. Now it's unsightly, I'll give you that. More than often than not, it's it's harmless. The reason why I have it is because I use an organic soil. So I use a coconut coir or a peat moss combined with compost or vermicast, whatever the case is. And what ends up happening is I end up with fungus because that's how it decomposes in nutrient cycles and et cetera and so forth. The best way to reduce the visual of this and uh, really kind of tamper it down is the use of vermiculite. A simple broadcasting or top dressing of vermiculite, whether you're seed starting or you're gardening indoors or you have houseplants is a really huge hack that you can use. Don't incorporate it into the soil. I don't see any benefit in that, but top dressing, I definitely do. Next weird one is humic acid. So you guys saw me add humic acid in quite a few videos at this point now. And the reason for that is because it actually lowers my tap water's pH. My tap water here in Saskatoon, if you watch the pH video, is that an eight. And we know through science that when we water our plants, actually altering that pH to a 6.5 can give us some really good results in regards to growth. And the best way to do this is naturally in some cases or chemically in others. And one way to naturally decrease that water, tap water pH, is with humic acid. I can take a tap water out of the tap at an eight, add some humic acid and get it to around a seven. Now, is that perfect? No, but it is better. And therefore over time, my potting soil will last longer because it's not as alkaline compared to the potting soil and therefore they don't clash as much and cause the pH to eventually creep upwards. So good hack to use and you don't want to use this as just a fertilizer. You also want to add your fertilizer in as well, which will pop it down even further. Next one is similar hack to humic acid, but I use this one at the office. <laughs> There's always spare coffee laying around and humic acid don't have on me at all times, but coffee I do. And coffee is a great way to drop that pH, not only of the soil if it's been aged over time, but just in general for watering. There's no fertilizer benefits to this or negligible amounts of it. And I do not encourage putting coffee grounds into your potting soil or on your plants whatsoever until it's been composted. Let me get that clear. However, the coffee itself is a great addition that is slightly acidic water that is beneficial to said plants. So watering with coffee in the office setting, because I'm not going to carry around humic acid with me everywhere, is, is a good addition. Last up, and I never seen anyone else ever do this, is the addition of sulfur. So potting soil you buy from the store is naturally acidic, like way too acidic. And so because of that, when we buy potting soil, there's the addition of lime. This is why if you're doing a DIY potting soil, you need to add lime. Absolute must. Your pH is too low if you just use peat and compost. It's too low. I'm sorry, it is. You have to add lime. And that lime will bring that pH up to that 6.5 range with some trial and error, and it will sit there. Now, it's gonna sit there for a period of time. If you have alkaline water such as myself, and you're not continually, constantly adjusting the pH before you water, that pH is going to tick upwards and slowly become alkaline, throwing the plant out of whack. The best way to bring that whole potting soil back down into equilibrium or slightly acidic range is with the use of sulfur. So you can use elemental sulfur. I've been known a time or two to use straight sulfur fertilizer to help with this. And all you're gonna do is just broadcast it on top, maybe slightly incorporate it into that root zone and we'll immediately drop that pH down and over time help it maintain there. I use that on some of my older plants that I just really couldn't be bothered to repot with because it allows me to keep that pH nice and low without 
all the other stressors. So sulfur is another great addition. But that's all I have for you for bizarre hacks. If you have any weird hacks that you do with your houseplant, please let me know in the comments down below. I, I love hearing these, but I need to know why. I need to know why you do the hack and where you heard from it. Or if it's just like one of those weird quirks that you have that you just refuse to give up. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.